Thank you for joining me again today. First thing I'd like to do before I get started is actually thank a really talented artist named uh, Jason Oakes, who has actually painted some good portraits of uh, me and my acquaintances, as you can see in the background. So that's the first thing I'd like to do. All right, let's dive right in. The first thing I want to do here is kind of tell you what I've got going on on the canvas right now. What I've taken is a regular standard 18 by 24 canvas and uh, painted it with completely, completely black with the uh, black gesso and allowed that to dry completely. Then what I've done is taken lizard and crimson, just kind of put it around here in the middle and then covered the rest of the painting with phthalo blue. Now I think what I'm going to do for this scene is just kind of a, like kind of like a sea, like a distant seascape and I'm gonna use mostly just titanium white. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Just let's, just, let's just dive right in. I think what I wanna do, just start with maybe just a two inch brush and just load a lot of titanium white right into the bristles, just kinda of shake them in there. And we're gonna pick where we want the sun to be, or should I say where the lightest part of the painting is gonna be at. So. Why don't we just start right about, right about here. And we're just working the bristles back and forth. Just kind of back and forth. Now what I want to do is go right into this and continuously use lots of titanium white and start from the same spot to really make that white show where you think your sunset's gonna be. That's pretty good. A little more, maybe right about in there, right about there. And the titanium white is continuously blending with the alizarin crimson and the phthalo blue, so as the higher up we go, you'll see. as much as you want. Maybe. Sometimes you need to take a step back and see kind of where you need to add more white. So why don't we go just rubbing the white into the canvas. Just wherever you think that the sky would show, because these, this black is actually going to kind of indicate what clouds would look like in the background. Maybe way up in the top here, just some. We don't know. This can be anything, whatever you'd like it to be. Now the fun part about this too, is this black along the line here is actually going to indicate, once it's all completed, is actually going to look kind of like distant mountains and trees and grass and stuff, but we're not actually going to add any color to it. And you'll see what I'm talking about as soon as I get done here. Be glad just a little bit. Maybe a couple more little indications of some lighter color. Maybe some a little bit right in there, and we're going to kind of blend that together. Maybe, since we have a little bit of blue, maybe it looks like there's going to be a little cloud coming across this lighter area, just like that. something like that there. Okay, maybe we'll add just a, a little bit more there. What I really want to do here is actually kind of take this one inch brush and really make this where the sun's, where the sun would be saying, where your light source is coming from. Now let's see right about there. And then Blend out a little bit. Looks like clouds. 
that's kind of off the distance. Now, once you have all your clouds and light up, we can blend it together and it'll really pop. Yeah, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna do clean off the brush use an odorless paint thinner kind of dab that dry yeah, you want to use odorless paint thinner because if you use regular paint thinner you're going to stink up your entire house like I've done several times and it's bad now we're just going to beat the Sith out of it it's my favorite part <laughs> So now what we want to do is we're going to go from the inside out with a really clean dry brush and just kind of blend, just kind of blend outward. Always blending from the light out because you don't want to cover up all that light color. And then just gently kind of blending that all together. You bring it up, just kind of make it look like those Oh, they're just kind of lifting. Something like that. You know, if you're doing this at your house, you kind of make them do whatever you want to do. Let's take a step back and let's see what we got. Like I said, you want to take a step back sometimes and see what you got. Yeah, it looks good enough for now. Gonna always change it later. I'm gonna change it there like that. There we go. Now, set these brushes down. Now I'm gonna take a fan brush, any size fan brush you want. I'm gonna load this with your straight titanium white. Now, what I wanna do here, you don't wanna go Kind of want to make the indication that there's a little bit of land kind of coming down like this here and kind of coming back up that way so we're going to kind of leave this dark so what i want to do is kind of make a starting point for where i want the water to be and i'm going to make almost like u shape really just u shape type thing but i'm going to kind of go a little bit faster and you're going to kind of show or it's going to kind of show where the indication of the light would be at on the water Just going back and forth. And eventually that's going to combine with the phthalo blue and you'll pick that up in your brush and it'll make it look like a nice little seascape. There's little waves and stuff back in the distance. We don't know. Now, the other thing I kind of want to do here is I want to kind of have a couple distinct lines where I want the waves to be at. So you can kind of take this and just, I don't know, we'll just kind of, something like that. Maybe we'll do, maybe one more in the background there. I don't know, that seems pretty good. So, what I want to do now Now let's kind of continue to add a little bit of those waves in the background there. Okay. So it's not going to be a real clear indication of where the land starts and where the horizon begins because you're not going to be able to tell because it's dark. So what I like to do now is we're going to take some more titanium white. there and now I'm just gonna kind of gently lift up like it's gonna kind of show like the wave crests and 
right under just like that, making those U shapes that I was talking about earlier. Just like that. Maybe that comes out there, we don't know. Now gently, once you have a good spot where you think your wave crest is gonna be, you're just gonna kind of gently lift upward where the titanium white is just to kind of show a kind of like a crashing wave type so. Just gently rubbing the canvas. Now, one thing I'd like to do is kind of add, I don't know, kind of like where a wave crests over, you're gonna see a really light area on the wave. So I'm gonna take a touch of the yellow here and I almost have kind of a green tint to it. Since it's still got the same old dirty brush that I was using with the titanium white. And now I'm probably just gonna put, I don't know, maybe a little, just a little crash in here. Eh, something like that. Maybe it's a bigger one. We don't know. Could be anything. This is your world. You do whatever you want to do. Now, kind of clean off the brush here. We're gonna go right back into that titanium white. And we're just gonna kinda keep using those little U shapes. And we're just gonna kinda blend this to where you think the light would start reflecting on the water. Now we kind of got to make this look like maybe there's some breaks in the waves. So one thing I want to do here is I'm going to kind of show like, like have you ever seen when the water kind of, kind of crests over, it kind of gives it like a foamy look. So one thing we can do is take a smaller fan brush, see if I can find it here. I'm just gonna take my girl titanium white and just kind of crest this over. Like that. Or something like that. You know, you do whatever you want to do. There we go. Sure, why not? Let's kind of kind of like the water's coming into more of a shallow area, we'll kind of make more of a foamy type substance. Yeah, something like that. Now we'll kind of fill in this wave here. Gently lift up. I can do something like that. One thing I want to kind of do is kind of show like wave breaks. So go back into that light. And now the water's going to be getting a little bit shallower here. Coming to a stop. So one thing we can do is maybe we'll put, maybe we'll kind of like put the indication of some, I don't know, rocks, like the waves breaking off of some rocks. So what you can do, there's my knife. We'll take, oh, what the heck, maybe we'll take just kind of a lighter, kind of a darker blue, maybe. Just kind of rub this along. I'm not going to be able to see it too well until I put the white onto it. But just kind of Bring this straight out, straight out to the side. And to kind of show the indication of the water starting to level off. 
that, something like that. Maybe something like that. So now that we've got this kind of a light water line here, I think we'll make it a little bit lighter. Okay. Now oh, what the heck? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll make the whole thing water. Maybe we'll, we, won't, we, won't really, we won't really use much land here today. So maybe we'll take, now nah, we'll do a little bit more. Kind of make it seem like, now yeah, that seems good. And what I'd actually like to do now, is we'll take that knife, use a little bit of yellow. We'll kind of make a, a greenish color here. Maybe that'll be kind of like a little, maybe kind of like a little foresty. I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of land right here. Yeah, let's kind of bring that in. Yeah, something like that. And I just kind of really push that into the canvas. Now, we'll take that same dirty brush that has the phthalo blue and the white on it. pulling it right out. Yeah, something like that. Maybe that goes all the way down to where you can't see it anymore. Maybe. It's kind of like a bunch of algae. Maybe this doesn't actually get a whole lot of movement on it right here. This will kind of bring up to make it look like the waves kind of crashing over. Take a step back. All right, let's see. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I don't really want to finish right here. I don't know. I'm kind of having so much fun with this painting. I don't really want to end it this fast. So, Oh, uh, what the heck. Um, you know, maybe I'd like to add, you know what, we're just going to keep the whole thing as water. I don't really want to do much land in this one. I don't want to ruin it. So, as I said before, maybe this, maybe we'll make it look kind of like there's some rocks here. We'll make it kind of curl over. So, what we'll do is just kind of take that same old, This we're doing this whole thing with the same old dirty brush. So we're going to use the white here, and we're just going to kind of bring it straight down and kind of show a reflection. You know what we'll do? We'll kind of make this seem like a reflection as well, but we'll bring this straight down. And by bringing straight down, when you paint straight down, it automatically looks like a reflection. Let's see, maybe we'll use a little bit more white here. Maybe this whole thing drops off. We don't know. Something simple, just like that. You can do this with whatever brush you want. You can do fan brush, two inch brush, three inch brush, whatever you want. But make sure you're pulling straight down when you're doing the reflections, otherwise it's not gonna look right. And then, once you've got your reflections, just gently back and forth. That simple. Who knows what this actually looks like. Take a step back. You know what? Maybe we'll add just another little, maybe we'll add just another little line here, like just another little set of rocks. Just kind of. Yeah, there we go. No, same thing. Just kind of pull that white. Straight over, make it look like it's starting to break right on the shore. Because who knows, maybe right about here is where the shore is. That is 
really starting to get light. Same thing, go straight down. Maybe there's a couple little rocks here. And you just can't see them because maybe the algae's going over them or whatnot. See, and kind of like I said earlier, not as you can see, we didn't even use paint here. It was just black, but it looks like in that far distance, it looks like, you know, who knows, trees, mountains. Kind of just use your imagination, see whatever you think it might be. And I'm thinking we're almost pretty much done here. I think it's just about a done painting. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. You know, even though I might be a scary guy, I do kind of like taking in the beauty of some things like that, you know. I had an instance once where I was standing on a place just like this. I had slain, I don't know, I don't know how many Jedi, they're not very hard to kill. But you kind of sit there.